So someone told me that you like bands. Well, same. And I have a lot of pairs to show you here. Don't mind the leaf. It's my fan because my house is really hot right now. And I'm drinking my coffee from 11 a.m. It is currently 3 p.m. I've been waiting all day for this, for this video. So let me tell you, I'm excited to film this. So let's just get straight to the point. I have a plethora of vans sitting on the floor right now, and I'm so excited to let them have their moment, share them on camera, because every pair of vans that I own has a story. These are not even all the pairs. I went through my garage, searched forever, looking for a couple pairs that I was so excited to show because they're so cool, and I couldn't find them anywhere. None of my family knows where they're at, so I'm just gonna show you the ones that I have today. So the first pair of vans that we're just gonna get out of the way are the classic white slip-on vans. Everyone has them. They're not special. These, I usually, okay, so I have a pair of white, white vans that I wear for like date nights, hanging out with friends, and then I have my trash white pair that I can wear to like a haunted house and not worry about them getting dirty. These are them. My first ever pair of vans, this is kind of heartfelt, were actually gifted to me by my high school sweetheart, and they were these exact same pair. He bought me a pair and he bought himself a pair, and then he put like a little like blue heart in the sole because that was our thing. So this is my second pair because I needed a new one. And as you can tell, nothing special. These are my second pair of vans that I owned. Again, nothing special. Just black, black on black. The story behind these ones, like three years later after I got these, the same high school sweetheart wrote in the soul again. These are also like ripped here. Again, nothing special. I just think it's kind of fun to share the little stories behind the pair of shoes that you wear because fourth pair of vans that I owned the checkered slip-on, nothing written in the soles of these ones. This was my sophomore year of high school phase where like skater, the tight black skinny jeans, you know, rock star band shirts. That was the phase of life I am so glad is over with. Next up, I'm pretty sure these are old school. I have these red pair. Red was one of my high school colors, so I got one of these pair. I got so many compliments because I laced my shoes like this. And it's so easy. Do it. Everyone will think you're really cool. Following up the black pair of old school bands. Um, these, I honestly didn't wear that much, but I wore them like doing crazy things. Like I climbed up a ski lift in these in the middle of summer. Totally unnecessary. Really fun. Wouldn't recommend. These just, they're alright. The next pair of bands that I own, I purchased at Tilly's. Believe it or not, I worked there as my first job. Wouldn't recommend. In the nicest way possible, would not recommend. That was a rough one. On the bright side, every job after that was literally like a breeze. But <laughs> one like month out of the year, I think, for back to school, where you could buy and get like, I wanna say 40% off your entire purchase or something, I don't remember. This was one of them. Next pair are the gray old schools. These, okay. I believe that this is the first pair of vans that I actually thrifted. Um, I bought them for like 13 bucks. They didn't have any laces, so I went to Walmart. Bought two dollar laces, added them on, and boom. Not bad, right? Thirteen pair of vans, or thirteen dollars for a pair of vans? Sure. I washed the hell out of them. Just fine. These are my more recent pair of vans. Worn these so much. Bought these two years ago. Wore them every single day. They're not that dirty considering. But they're really cute because they're the platform ones. They make you a little bit taller. Love these. Okay, this next pair are probably the pair of vans that I wore the least. Um, and I bought them brand new. But I bought them on discount at the outlet store for buy one, get one half off. In my head, I was like, this is a steal. I need to find two pair of vans. Little did I realize, I think that deal is like all year round at the outlet store. I love corduroy. And so like, I don't know if you can tell, but I was like that corduroy here. Oh my gosh, so gross. These are all in my garage, I'm sorry. <laughs> the corduroy here, and then like the suede texture, the purple, and platform. They're just really hard to match outfits with. That's the only thing. This was another pair of Vans, old school, that were part of my rough phase in high school. For some reason, these laces are so long. I don't know, like if someone switched them when I bought them. I, it was a manufacturing error, but look, they're so long. The next two pair of Vans that I have here to show you, I also thrifted, and um, these pair. Hardly really ever wore them. I don't know why I bought them. I think I bought them because I'm like, Vans, I have to buy them. They're like, $15, I have to buy them. I thought I would love wearing more because I love this. I love like forest green. I didn't. Probably my least favorite pair here. And the last pair of vans I thrifted and never even got around to wearing. These pink ones. And they're also trashed. I like washed them. The color like faded really ugly. I kept them because I was like, maybe I will paint them. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up my vans collection. 
I appreciate you watching. I really do because my younger self would be so happy and so proud of me because I promised myself when I was a little girl that I would start my YouTube channel again when I'm in college because I was too shy. So now that I'm finally doing it, it's like super exciting. Like I've been waiting all week to film this video. So um, if you're interested, please stick around. There will be lots of videos coming in the near future. Um, I got lots of videos scheming through my head and I hopefully will see you guys in the very near future. Bye.